This is a pedal steel guitar. Now, why is it called a pedal steel guitar? Well, first of all, it's not a steel pedal guitar. The pedals are not made of steel. Originally, steel guitars were simply what you see at the top here uh, with nothing else. Just a neck, tuning pegs, a pickup, some strings. Simplest possible iteration of an instrument, really. And it was played with a tone bar, usually a fairly heavy piece of stainless steel, sometimes a jackknife or a bottle, whatever was handy. And you would play it in an open tuning. And uh, it was popular in the 20s, especially in Hawaiian music and, and uh, that type of thing. There were limits to what you could do with this, however, because if it was in just one tuning and you had only eight, six or eight strings, um, they didn't even have ten strings so much in those days, you ran out of uh, keys that you could play in. The so pedal steel guitar came along when people wanted to try to get more flexibility out of the, uh, out of the steel guitar setup. Hence the pedals. You'll see these rods coming down here, connecting to pedals down here. And what happens is that the pedals, the energy you put into pressing the pedals down, or also uh, applying pressure to the knee levers here, I don't know if you can see them on either side, these raise and lower the strings by preset intervals. So a quick look at the, at the guitar. You've got the tuning pegs, as you would with a guitar. This is the nut here. And if you can see, these are, slight, these are little rollers here, so that if a string is being raised or lowered, it slides easily and doesn't get stuck. This is the neck. Uh, the frets are painted on. As you can see, the action is very high. These frets are not functional. They're purely guidelines. You are the fret with the tone bar. So you play, uh, try to stay in tune with the band. Over here, you've got a pickup. This is what makes the sound come out of the amp. And here is your bridge, which is uh, also called the changer. You'll notice also, like these individual rollers, you've got individual uh, components here. And what they do is roll uh, with the effect of the pedal, uh, activated by the pedals or the knee levers. And they will either release the tension or increase the tension on a given string or pair of strings, or even sometimes as many as three strings. In fact, sometimes, they'll, sometimes they will lower one string and raise another. The, simple, uh, the pedals uh, can allow you to play a chord, this E chord, and then if, uh, when you hit the pedals, suddenly it becomes an A chord. There's a universe of possibilities depending on what the individual pedals, knee levers, do, and where, uh, which combination of strings you hit, and where on the neck you're situated. And that's the basics of a pedal steel guitar.